Hi, I'm Colleen Elliott, and I'm an English teacher at Northwest Classen High School. And today I will be explaining the instructional packet for week five, which will run from May 4th to May 8th, which will be the last day of school. Hey, seniors, you're almost there. Just a few more days. So looking at our lessons for the week, talking about English 4. If you need to pick up a packet, you can pick those up at the meal distribution sites, or you can go online at okcps.org, and on the home page, there is a link to all of the instructional packets. So they're still laid out just like always with the five standards that English has. So notice that reading and writing, which are the keys to everything that we do, uh, we're encouraging you to do one activity per day for reading and writing. Okay, and just a quick reminder, that we are reading 20 minutes a day, anything that you enjoy, because when you read 20 minutes a day, it can improve your language and fluency, as well as your comprehension. So we're encouraging that. And to make it easier for you to find things that you like to read, notice that we have a link to the one card, which is your Metro Library card. It is free. You log in with your uh, student ID number or your lunch number, and you use your last name as it appears in the Infinite Campus as your password. And you can check out magazines, books, audios. Uh, you, they have music. So there's all kinds of things that you can check out. And you can check out 10 things at a time. So don't forget about that. Notice here too, one of the articles this time is about the US Census. It is that time of year when we all need to be thinking about completing the census. And so you can kind of study a little bit about the history and some other activities that we have set up for you or just read things that you like. And same thing, all of your writing activities correspond with the reading things that we have laid out this week. So one activity for writing and one for reading per day. And then looking at the other standards that go into your English curriculum, we have vocabulary, research and test preparation, and multimodal with speaking and listening components. Those you should do one to two activities a week. And so they're laid out here, all collecting back to the beginning of what we assign for your reading. But you can take it a step further and do some writing on your own or read something that you like. And, uh, write about it. If you are still needing to get a few points so that you're guaranteed to pass your classes, I would say pick a few of these things, contact your teacher, uh, you're going to turn them in, you just take a picture with your phone and email them. That's the easiest way to get them to your teacher. And speaking of teachers, you know we're all missing you terribly and we're so excited we're getting closer to graduation every moment. And so reach out to your teachers. They're there to help you. If there's any questions that you have, please, please check with each and every one of your teachers because they really do want to see you succeed. And we're gonna miss you terribly. And we we'll wanna hear from you next year about all the good things that are happening. So as we're finishing up the school year, which ends on May 8th, do your very best. If you have questions, reach out, ask. If you need more help and you're unable to contact your teacher, on the front page of okcps.org, there's also a link to study assistance. So there are lots of ways to reach out, get the help you need, and stay safe and have a great summer.